In every healthy forest, there's a secret working silently beneath the leaves, fungi. They stitch the soil together, feed trees, and recycle what falls from above. Most gardeners don't realize that you can recreate this same natural magic in your backyard with nothing more than two everyday items, rotten fruit peels and plain cardboard. On their own, they don't look like much. One is kitchen waste, the other is packaging destined for the bin. But when buried together in soil, they ignite something extraordinary. A bloom of living fungi so strong it weaves through the soil in just weeks transforming waste into food for your plants. This isn't just another composting trick. This is a controlled way of waking up the soil's fungal networks, the very foundation of plant health. And once you see what happens beneath the surface, you'll understand why farmers, scientists, and gardeners alike are turning back to fungal systems as the real key to fertile, resilient gardens. Rotten fruit is often thought of as garbage, but from the soil's perspective, fruit peels are a burst of fast-acting food. Bananas carry potassium that strengthens stems and helps fruits ripen. Citrus skins bring calcium that prevents blossom end rot in tomatoes and peppers. Apple cores and melon rinds are loaded with sugars that microbes can devour almost instantly. What makes fruit peels especially powerful is the way they rot, Instead of breaking down slowly like wood chips, they collapse quickly, releasing waves of nutrients and organic acids that stir microbial life into motion. When tucked underground, this process doesn't attract pests or flies, it becomes a silent underground fermentation chamber feeding the invisible workers of your soil. But fruit peels alone break down too quickly. They release nutrients in a rush, some of which leach away. That's where cardboard comes in, not just as a cover, but as a balancing partner. Cardboard may look lifeless, but its fibers are made from cellulose and lignin the same compounds that form fallen branches and leaves in a forest. Fungi are built to digest these compounds. When you bury cardboard, especially over something moist like fruit peels, it absorbs water, softens, and becomes a perfect fungal home. The corrugations inside the cardboard trap air and hold dampness creating little caves where fungal spores can germinate. Within days, you'll start to see thin, white filaments spreading through the softened fibers. These are fungal hyphae, the roots of fungi that will eventually knit into a dense mat of mycelium. Now here's where the pairing matters. The sugars and acids from the rotting fruit peel spill upward into the cardboard, fueling fungal growth at a much faster pace than cardboard alone would allow. Instead of waiting months for fungi to appear, the fruit peel and cardboard partnership produces visible fungal blooms in just two or three weeks. Lift up the cardboard after about three weeks and the sight is unforgettable. A dense white mat clings to the underside, sometimes so thick it looks like a layer of frost. This is living mycelium, the underground body of fungi that connects soil particles and extends into the surrounding dirt. This bloom is more than just a curiosity. It signals that your soil is alive and working again. These fungal strands spread out in all directions, transporting nutrients to plant roots. In return, plants feed them sugars through their roots, a partnership known as the mycorrhizal relationship. When you trigger this bloom, you aren't just recycling scraps, you are literally rebooting the soil's natural engine. The benefits go beyond just feeding plants. As fungi grow, their hyphae release these amazing glues that bind soil particles into stable clumps, which we call aggregates. Good soil isn't loose dust or sticky clay, it's crumbly and rich, with air spaces for roots to breathe and channels for water to flow. By encouraging fungal blooms, you're building that structure naturally. Water doesn't run off as easily, roots grow deeper, and soil resists compaction. Over time, the cardboard breaks down into humus, that dark, spongy material that holds nutrients for years. The fruit peels feed the system quickly, while the cardboard ensures a slow release, creating a layered effect where both short-term and long-term fertility are built at once. The process is almost too simple. Start by digging a shallow trench or pulling back the top layer of mulch. Lay down your rotten fruit peels, banana skins, melon rinds, apple cores, citrus peels, then cover them completely with a sheet of cardboard, 
overlapping the edges so no light sneaks through. Wet the cardboard until it's soft and pliable, then put a thin layer of soil or mulch on top to hold it down. Now let nature do the rest. The fruit rots quickly, releasing nutrients. The cardboard traps moisture and becomes colonized by fungi. Worms move in, chewing through both the softened cardboard and the fruit, mixing it into the soil below. By the time the cardboard is half decomposed, the soil beneath is darker, looser and threaded with white fungal life. This method can be repeated anywhere in the garden. Use it in empty beds to prepare them for planting, or tuck it between rows of vegetables to quietly build fertility while crops grow. The transformation in plants growing in soil treated this way is striking. Leafy greens take on a deeper shade of green, proof of balanced nutrition. Tomatoes set more flowers and fruits thanks to the extra potassium from bananas. Root crops push down more easily in the softened soil, growing straighter and larger. Even during dry spells, the fungal-treated soil stays damp longer, giving plants a resilience you can see. The fungal bloom doesn't disappear once the cardboard is gone. It leaves behind networks in the soil that stay connected to plant roots. Every round of fruit and cardboard burial makes the soil more alive, and each bloom builds on the last, stacking fertility season after season. The beauty of this method is its balance. Fertilizer feeds for a season. Compost, if not fully matured, can burn or overwhelm, but fruit peels and cardboard work in harmony. One offers fast nutrients, the other builds slow structure. Together they create conditions that don't just feed plants once, they reshape the soil so that every crop after benefits. It's proof that gardeners don't always need to buy fertility. Sometimes, the most powerful soil-building tools are already lying around the house, just waiting to be combined in the right way. The first time you peel back cardboard to find it white with fungi, you realize you're not just gardening, you're farming soil life itself. Rotten fruit peels and old cardboard may seem like trash, but underground, they become the stage for one of the most powerful transformations in gardening. This method outperforms shortcuts because it doesn't just add nutrients, it builds the partnerships that make nutrients last. It's a reminder that healthy soil isn't made by force, it's cultivated by working with life's smallest engineers. And once you see it, you'll never throw fruit scraps or cardboard away the same way again. If this guide gave you a fresh way of looking at soil health, subscribe to Hydrohaven for more time-tested methods that build thriving gardens from the ground up. And share this with another gardener, because the more living soil we create, the richer every garden becomes.